okay it is day nine and uh, we are leaving Kingman Arizona we're driving through the Black Mountains uh, into actually we're heading to Oatman Arizona first because they have well it's on 66 and apparently there's wild uh, burros donkeys just wander the streets left over from when it was a mining town and their you know ancestors or whatever uh, so that'd be kind of interesting but uh, this drive through the mountains is going to be pretty cool. I thought I'd film some of it and uh, just give you an idea how awesome this trip is. Actually, I'm jealous. I'm not the one driving right now. Mm. But uh, so, yeah, here we go. driving while this is the road my god so that's it for now
wish I could just film this whole thing, but uh, I don't think I have enough space on the card left anymore. But uh, this is, uh, it's spe I'm speechless. There's no other way to describe it. This is just incredible, the view and the drive. We're going into Oatman. Actually, we've already passed through Oatman. We're going back again just because I have to film this. This is incredible. It's like an old western town. It's a mining town. Wild burrows just wandering the streets. How cool is that? Oh, it's got a sticker. It has some like, no food for me or something. Okay, it's the end of our day nine. We've uh, stopped for the night a little bit early because we're actually in San Bernardino, just outside LA. Uh, our flight doesn't leave, today's Tuesday, our flight doesn't leave till Friday, or Thursday. So we're gonna stop here tomorrow. We'll go into LA, finish the trip. We'll have lots of time to go check some other touristy stuff. We wanna see the Hollywood sign, maybe the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Um, but yeah, it's only quarter after three here and uh, we thought we'd stop for you in a town, but also we had to stop to get this particular hotel. It's a nice, tiny little cozy room, circular room, but you'll see where I am in a minute. It's unbelievable. You got it? Yes, we are staying in a teepee. We are at the Wigwam Motel. Also known as the Cozy Cone if you're a Cars fan. But uh, yeah, we're this far and we had to check it out. I'll give you a quick walk around and uh, you can see what we're seeing. So all the rooms are giant teepees basically. Thank God they're air conditioning because it's 44 degrees here today. It's freaking hot. But we made it. This is the, the only one of two on Route 66 of the Wigwam uh, chain. And uh, the other one looked pretty run down. This one looks a lot better condition, a lot better run, a little bit better looked after. Uh, yeah, I just take a look. We got teepees. We're staying in a teepee. So this is getting near the end. One more day left of our trip. And uh, it's been a hell of a trip. So we got some cars parked over there, nothing too fancy, but uh, it's got a pool. We're all ready for the pool. Although it's an extra five bucks if you want to swim in the pool, which seems kind of weird, but hey. But here we are at the Cozy Cone, also known as the Wigwam Motel. So that's the end of our trip today. It's been kind of crazy. The best part was that mountain drive that 
you've seen us do. I, I videotaped some of it. Um, oh, and we stayed at the bottle. We checked the bottle ranch out, which is the weirdest thing you'd ever seen. This, again, I got pictures. I'll put, I'll put them up. You'll see. But. Uh, It's, this guy made these metal trees and put bottles on them and he's got all kinds of old signs and you gotta see it to believe it, it's, it's, you can't, can't describe it. The guy must have been smoking something, I don't know, but <laughs> I met the guy, he seems like a nice enough guy, but uh, he said he'd spent 17 years making it and uh, he's still working on it. Still got stuff, he keeps adding to it and adding to it, but it's been, uh, it, it was weird. But here's the, uh, near the end of our trip, the, Wigwam Motel. And this is, we're in Wigwam 14. And give me a quick tour inside again of our one little room. Now we've only got one bed, but that couch is a pullout couch, so I'm not getting cozy with Brian. And we got our little tiny bathroom <laughs> and shower, and that is the whole room. Nothing fancy, but it's the, 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 the attraction is the, the cone shape uh, or teepee shape but uh, yeah well I hope you enjoyed our trip we're not quite done but almost done and it's it's just been a trip of a lifetime I can't describe how much fun it's been how interesting it's been um, it's just a trip of a lifetime and I, I can't describe I recommend anybody wants to do it do it you need uh, pointers or help or a book Get the book, Easy 66 book we used. It was awesome, it worked well. You gotta do a lot of reading, a little hard to follow at times, but uh, it was it, it was well worth it because it pointed out stuff we wouldn't have seen if we were just driving on our own. So uh, yeah, that's our trip for today. We're staying in the cozy cone. <laughs>